Well, Louisiana farmers spend a lot of time making sure their crops stay watered. According to the USDA, in 2008, U.S. farmers spent on average between $48 and $68 per acre to keep their pumps turned on. Mississippi State Irrigation researchers now say that there is room for improvement, and that's why they've created a new program that can, can potentially cut farmers' use of water in half. Wallace Taylor Fry now brings us to Vidalia, Louisiana, where 40 Louisiana farmers gathered to learn more about MSU's new efficient irrigation system. Poincapie Parish farmer Marty Graham dusts off his irrigation pump because he knows summer is just around the corner and his crops will be thirsty. We normally hit a dry spell in the growing season somewhere, but we wish we, wish we could put some water on it. Last year, Graham irrigated his crops using temporary pipes like these every seven to ten days. Something he says is not cheap. It's very likely that maybe one or two of those waterings we don't need, but that's what we don't really know. So that farmers like Graham can know, Mississippi State University irrigation specialist Dr. Jason Krutz created the Row Crop Irrigation Science and Extension Research Program, better known as RISER. What I want to drive home here is the value of not scheduling nilly-willy and using some type of scientific scheduling. A major complement of Riser is this soil moisture sensor. If you want to schedule irrigations appropriately, it's to put soil moisture sensors in the field. Kruitz explained to nearly 40 Louisiana farmers in Vidalia, Louisiana, how these sensors measure the moisture in the soil, which then help farmers accurately determine when to irrigate. Using soil moisture sensors in Mississippi this past season, over about 17 different irrigation sets, we reduced water use by approximately 50 percent, maintain their yield and improve their profitability. Kurt says most Louisiana farmers do not use soil moisture sensors. Instead, they determine when to irrigate by using intuition. We can move it up to two hours, we're set, we're locked in, we're ready to go. After soil moisture content is determined, farmers can use a surge valve to regulate water flowing to the crops. The butterfly valve switches, the water comes back to this side, it sends it down to an hour and a half. One of these surge valves costs $1,000. However, Tinsaw Parish farmer Terry Mai says he's hopeful this program will work for his farm. What we heard here today, that it would pay for itself in the first year. And back in Point Capete. Graham says he's thankful researchers are looking into irrigating more efficiently. Any kind of research like that, because there's just so many unknowns and we're all kind of doing it the way we think is best, but we don't necessarily know that that's best. Research Kruitz believes will better the environment and farmers' bottom line. Kruitz says he expects the federal government to pass laws in the next few years that will require farmers to use irrigation practices like riser. He says he's hopeful farmers in the region will be proactive in installing riser on their farms. For more information about MSU's riser program, you can visit our website at twilighttv.org. And Taylor, let's hope that the work being done at MSU somehow will find its way here into Louisiana so that more and more Louisiana farmers can take advantage of that irrigation technology. Taylor Fry, thanks. Still to come on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. I'll take you to the, one of the biggest ag shows in the South and show you why, for some of us, cotton is still king. Stay with us.